would say this is probably one of the bigger set of reviews that we've had this year alone. <laughs> Are we recording? Um, mm -hmm. Okay. Well, um, hello everyone. Uh, I good. will hopefully, hopefully this won't trigger any rage-inducing attacks upon anyone. This is my. <laughs> Yes, uh, indeed. Yeah. Ah. 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 What's on you scare me? You scare me. Yeah, I just feel like goodbye. Mike Check 95 with another October Horror Fest review. This is the uh, second, like the fifth night that we've done so far. This is a night. <laughs> this, this is a, a night. night. Um, <laughs> so I'm here with my usual cohorts here. Krieger Margin 1. And Orphan Joker. Save and so then the camera can hear you. Our, our Krieger guests, Margin 1! And Orphan guests, Joker! And I'm your special guest, Harvey Beardman. And uh, also the return of... Cherry Fairy. Cherry Buffalo. Cherry Buffalo. It's been years since Cherry Buffalo has been in a review, I feel. It has. Indeed it has. I thought this was going to be more of a creature feature, not a stupid zombie. Hey, movie. there were creatures in there. Zombies yeah, are a creature. There's some turkeys. What, yeah. movie, mo turkey what movie did we watch? The movie is called... Thanksgiving 4! <laughs> you might, as well, you might as well call it that. You might as well. The movie is called The Rage. Um, would you like to fill in on the uh, the usual stats before we get into the movie itself? Yes. Yes, the statistic, statistic man. So, this movie had a, a, a grand budget of $2 million. What? Are you serious? Yep. Yep. So, uh, they did have this on Rotten Tomatoes after some digging. The audience put it at a 2.0. Out of 10. Out of 10. And um, <clears throat> one critic reviewed this film, so they didn't have a critic score, but the one critic re uh, reviewed it at a 2.2. .2. And his, his thought was... Don't judge a book by its cover. Watch this film. You told us the budget, but what was the box office? Uh, well, I, I searched it? for about a quarter of the movie to see if I could find anything about money and being made, and I couldn't. I just couldn't have it. No money on this. So, I'm so we're gonna assume it didn't enter theaters. I, I know for sure. It was an indie film. I know that. I, I know for sure that in in 2006 that they played it at a film festival. And then in 2007, it went straight to DVD. That's a wonderful no theatrical lie. release. That is the only thing I, I I know. And they waited a whole year after showing it in the movies. Two million dollars. You know, two that's million dollars. How is that two million dollars? A million of it went to a million. It went to Mushroom Head, probably, <laughs> the band, and probably a, a half of the other million probably went to the CGI. So a little trivia terrible. about the Mushroom Head thing. I I was looking on it earlier. I don't remember the names of the songs, but two of their songs was recorded on set. For because they were filming for their album at the time, I guess you said? <laughs> yes. I never heard of them before this movie, and for some odd reason, I was not surprised that you guys knew who they were. <laughs> <laughs> the, wi the, wish. the wishes. I guess you wanted to give us your thoughts. Sure. Uh, so, I, I had a quote and, and a random tidbit of trivia that I wanted to so share with you guys. Trivia on this movie? Yes, there was some trivia with this movie. The idea of this movie came to the director while he was visiting a vulture display in a New York City museum. So. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and then just cancer. He thought of <laughs> research <laughs> <and> soon <laughs> A rage virus spreading to vultures that look like turkeys. It, well, I like turkey vultures so bad. Yeah. Anyways, um, the in the quote, I can find the photos, is that people should get tattooed on them all over the place. Is die you fucking evil Oompa Loompa? Said my cat. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> Words to live by, surely. Um, and usually I have a a, uh, a stem and leaf plot of positives and negatives. My positives is I couldn't think of a single one. My <laughs> negatives is everything. Uh, so my rating puts is uh, joining Resident Evil Retribution and and uh, Blair Witch Project at one out of ten. <laughs> Terrible. Worst movies of all time. Yeah, the socks. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, continue. But for a B movie, which I did not expect this to be a B movie. That's not I, a B movie. I'm son. Still, I call this a Z movie. Yeah. <laughs> a, a Z movie. Um, I think they did well. If if, if I was going to rate this uh, as a B movie that made me laugh, what? Because everyone in this room laughed at least once during this. What movie. the fuck? Uh, I give it 
<laughs> you call it a laugh? <laughs> I would. I'd say a lot more than once, to be quite yeah. honest with you. Yeah, I lost my shit when he when they tore the, threw the head through the RV. By the way, the body was still under the RV at that time, so they crawled under the RV and mm-hmm. just threw it out. On a B movie scale, I give it like a six, maybe a blue gravy. Blue gravy. Blue gravy. Blue gravy. But your horror fest. Why is uh, it blue? The horror fest score is a one. A one. But it's six Um, for bad news. I want to. Alright, who wants to go next? Can what we elaborate on the blue gravy thing here for a second? Yeah, let's well, elaborate on the blue gravy. It's like blue waffle, but worse. Well, no! <laughs> no, no, no. If well, you want to know the blue gravy, go watch our other turkey review. So yeah, here's, 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 what, here's what happened in the review. It's the even turkey. better watching it the third time. <laughs> third time? <laughs> Why would you watch it? <laughs> you know, Three it's probably, times. probably a good idea we watch this second so we can take Godzilla more seriously. <laughs> I watched that turkey, that, that turkey <laughs> movie that I don't like the title of. Thanks, Killing. That, yeah, that movie that I'll never say the title of again. Okay. Uh, but I gave it a rating of gravy. Gravy's good, though. Yeah. Not, yeah, but you not, say, not, not a gravy flavor condom. No, though. when you say. Well, gravy's well, good. Not until you try it. Uh, <laughs> so, <laughs> you know, when you say everything flavor condom, thanks, Killing. When you say everything's gravy. gravy. 100% Wait, will buy a Brown gravy or white gravy? I'm guessing white gravy. Okay. He said blue gravy. When you say. The thing is, though, gravy is good when it's with something. But if you ever just sat down and ate gravy, have by you itself, ever ate 100%? gravy? <laughs> I'll fucking drink. Have you shit. ever become a gravy? <laughs> Whenever just someone says everything is gravy, they mean it's good. I don't know why you haven't eaten gravy plain. Out of a ladle. You should get these uh, Schwann's turkey dinners. The yeah, gravy in them. Oh, gravy. I'll drink okay. it right up. Now you're, now, you're, now you're trying to promote his. No, I'm not advertising. Gravy's good. I'm not saying gravy's Home bad. Home Depot has handles. Got a rating of gravy because <laughs> it, that movie was able to hey, ruin gravy. All right, we, okay. all right, we, all right. We, we, moving we on. We derailed completely off this review. Yeah. How'd you feel about the 15 minutes you saw? Goodness. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was yeah, like, hey, look, Joker. it's a movie. Wait. This is some. Why is this a movie? I the turkeys took me by storm. I didn't know there were supposed to be turkeys. Was that a plan oh, for the next? Turkey movie? vultures. I'm a mad scientist. I tried to cure cancer. I did cure cancer, but it never got out. So instead, I released a magical virus that nobody can cure, except me. And I'm gonna have sex with this woman, and we're gonna have non-consensual babies that live on forever, but probably look like me. But then it gets attacked by a turkey vulture. And then they get attacked by turkey vultures, and then the movie ends. And that's pretty much all I saw. Did so I don't get it. Rating or no? How about so I only saw a quarter of the movie, so I'll give it a quarter rating. Two? <laughs> I'm gonna give it a quarter rating of two fourths. Because if I watched the full movie, I think I would have given it a two. Two fourths of a what? Two fourths of a fourth. So the fourth is two fourths, meaning I would so have given it a two. What? But I only saw a quarter of it. Right. So you give it a, two. a half of one point. Okay, well, and then a two. two. Huh? What? <laughs> so your rating is point five. <laughs> we'll do the math later. I'm trying to write the numbers you down. Guys so I can do it later. You guys that know, you guys that don't understand what I'm talking about. <laughs> okay, fine. I'll go. I'll go. So. I have nothing good to say about this movie. I have nothing bad to say about this movie. It is just, I feel like I went to a different plane of existence because I believe plane. this film oh, is in the same universe as Thanksgiving, based on how horrible it was. You're saying we need an encore? No, we don't. I think so. I don't, I don't know why this film didn't get a sequel. Time. So. They will for the 20th anniversary. Mm, yes. When was it made? When 2007. Was it? 2007? 2007, or as we all probably remember it, the year Copyville flooded real bad. Well, yeah. <laughs> Not 07. a good year for movies, apparently. Either. Yeah, the 07. I... 07 flood. I don't want to break the scale. My brains tell me to break the scale, but I don't want to break the scale. Because <clears throat> I'll just fuck up my math as it is. So this one is getting a point one out of ten. Give me a point ten out of ten. A point one out of ten. You heard that. Well, point ten out of ten. Point ten out of ten. <laughs> point one zero. In fact, a point one hundred out of ten. <laughs> <laughs> point one hundred. <laughs> point 
one million. You heard it here first. Mike loved the movie. <laughs> Chef's kiss. That those birds look so good. The one, the first pair of titties we saw was definitely a solid boob job. Like good for her. It was gory. I think it tried to do a little bit of saw, but did not uh, succeed at all. Overall, I rate it two pairs of boobies out of ten. Two pairs? <laughs> yeah, it had two pairs. So four. So no, four I, no, ten. I don't want to rate it a four. Everybody chill. It's a two. Uh, <laughs> two. Well, I'll tell you what. Two. So each one is one pair of boobies. Yeah. I, I think so. Just one pair of movie. This, this movie, movie just gave me a headache, mainly because of how bad the shaky cam was. All right, here it is. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, are we, are we getting the calm review or are we getting the rage? No pun intended. I don't feel like I need to be angry because. <laughs> but you were angry at Thanksgiving. Because it was such a good movie. It was. It was this is turkey. Ball. It was an excellent romp. As the British say. So you're saying um, this film is better than Thanksgiving? I don't recall actually think, uh, seeing Thanksgiving. There's lots There's of video, video proof. Oh. You almost killed them with the mirror. Uh, right? In the yes, apartment yes. on, uh, 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 you know, the expensive ones way a over Summerfield? there. Summerfield? Yeah, yes. Summerfield. And then I was changed by We watched Santa Slay the same night. We need to watch both of them. I don't remember watching that one either. You it's on me. Is that the one with Goldberg? And, and then in the yeah. second video that we watched, that, that we had, the second review we had, the first. <laughs> <laughs> He made us watch it. The first three minutes of the you video is Mike <laughs> cutting from the old video and putting it on the new video. <laughs> uh, you you want to go first? <laughs> oh my god. Oh, I have not been this violently angry over a fucking movie in so long. I want to throw things now. Oh god. What? I am having such a hard time right now. Okay, so I can't put all of my fucking strife into words. <laughs> so I have to move around. Oh, Rachel, my dear You have angered me. No. Get him! Get him! Blow <laughs> <laughs> it. I've left that part of my life behind me. Um, it's okay, we'll send you links. Sure, you yeah. <laughs> uh, Jason X. Okay, so... I remember Same that. thing on that review. I reviewed it. it. So, as a movie from 2007, I... Okay, let me just say this. I hate horror movies completely. Okay. So, it was pretty funny, and I know it wasn't supposed to be. So, that kind of... <laughs> He's going bonkers. I, I'm sorry. My cat's being... Look, on crack again. Look, crack again. You know, I think the practical effects were, were all right. Um, the makeup artist did a swell job, I think. The the blood reacted a little weird. Um, I think that's the only like bad thing on the practical side uh, that I can really... Uh... Yes. What about the yep. camera work? Uh, camera work... Uh, <laughs> Man, it looked like we fucking recorded it on this shit. Hey, to be quite honest. That's 40K. Yeah, that's a, yeah, I know, I know. It looked hey. like it was recorded on iPhone 4, though. Yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> and moving yeah. like this the entire time. <laughs> yeah, the, the camera cuts were a little... They were shit. Ah, man, it was a little long. If if it cut out... It should have like, ended like 20 minutes. Like yeah, it should have been an hour instead of an hour and a half. But, um, like I, you know, I feel like the plot had potential um but you know it was made by college kids it needed so, a better direction yeah it needed better everything maybe three million dollars would have saved them you know <laughs> they, um, know, they, they could have paid a, a better band to play in yeah the they could have got slipknot <laughs> <laughs> yeah i'm you're stoked yeah fuck man i had a good time watching it but at the same time it was a pretty bad movie i'm gonna go with dylan on this one i'll, I'll say it's a six or a seven out of out of Ten for like a um, B movie. for B movie, yeah. Funny, funny. funny. Um, a, a, as a bad horror movie, as those go, it was a six or a seven. But as a horror, film. but as a film, that was easily, you know, uh, I'll give it a four just for the makeup. But other than that, a lot of the 
money seemed to go into Ben Nye blood. Which is why when they went in that shitty waterfall, it did not come off. <laughs> um, also, um, I found another little tidbit. Um, all of the vulture puppets were operated by cables. Nice. I never realized they were puppets. Were they <laughs> turkey vultures? Yep, that's what it says. It says they're turkey vultures. Most of this was made in a uh, bowling alley. In a bowling alley. What? A bowling alley? Yes. Bowling alley. Could you tell it loud enough for the camera to hear? A bowling alley. A Strike! Bowling. Do you have any other closing thoughts on this film before we carry on to our next one? You know... I enjoyed the thoughts in this film for sure as a gay person. <laughs> Science time with Josh. <laughs> when you you don't take a camera like those little micro cameras and just stick in somebody's head and be like ah microscope and then when you look at that you don't see a virus like like get attacked by stuff and then the stuff be like hey guys we gonna cut out and then just leave that's not how that's not how viruses work in case you were wondering okay everyone we will see you at the next movie um, called the crawl and I already know it's gonna be so, so much better based off how the quality of the call is going to be. Now remember that, Mike, in future, if it's bad. All right, he says it's a 10 out of 10 already. Let's go. Uh, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying it's probably going to be better than this film by a long shot. You know it, Hey, that. Mike, uh, in your professional opinion, would you say this film is better than, like, any Rob Zombie has made? I will say that. Nothing. My profession, <laughs> Nothing is better than what Rob Zombie. Rob Zombie. <laughs> Rob Zombie. Make me want to die. No, they're epic. That's oh. of a kind. <laughs> Back with our second film of this double feature. Our other two guests had to leave, but they did give us their scores down, so here are their scores right here. And right here. Why do you say their scores? Because I'm editing it in. Greater Murray, would you like to go over the credentials and the statistics of these, this film? This creature feature. Their budget was $13.5 million. The money that their box office was was $91.54 million. So they made money. That's a good amount of money for just a simple alligator hurricane film. Well, some people actually think this wasn't quite a simple film. Um, in fact, uh, Quentin Tarantino said that of all the movies that came out in 2019, this was his favorite. So you know, so I, he's I, a person who likes dialogue, and there wasn't a lot in it. Yeah, I'm assuming because it was just a fun movie. That you don't think about it too much, it's fun. Yeah, because 2019 was kind of like not the start of the pandemic, but it was like the slow burn into it, but like it hadn't hit us yet. 2019 was kind of, <laughs> for some 2019 was a weird year. For some odd reason, he liked this film more than Doom Annihilation or Brightburn. Okay, Brightburn could be a good argument on that one, but Doom Annihilation is completely out of that whole discussion. The critics rate this an 8.3, <laughs> and the audience rate this a 7.5. Okay, so that's solid. Yeah. That is solid. No, that's solid numbers around right there. So, um, for my review on it, um, I didn't write a whole bunch of negatives and positives because I started to, and then this film, the way it was, was really predictable and, and kind of threw it out of the loop. I really like movies like this, but I like it when it makes sense. As long as they logically make sense, then I love it. If they don't, then I hate it. They did, th there was a lot of things in this film that did not make sense from their behavior to to why are they nest, well, their behavior is why they're nesting, why are they nesting down there, why are they going after these people that, that were on the boat across from there. There's a lot about this movie that doesn't make sense. Why is there, why is there several helicopters in, 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 in a Cat 5 hurricane? That doesn't make sense. So, but, if you watch this film and you don't think about all that stuff, it's a good film. I enjoyed it. So, if it made sense, it'd be between the 8 to 10 ratio of really good to perfect. But because it didn't make sense, it would cap out at 7. So I'm giving it a 7, because other than that, it was a really good movie. So in other words, for you, like, there was a lot of stuff in the film that didn't make sense, and it was, like, aggravating for you, but there was enough stuff in the film to where you were like, I can just shut my brain off and forget about the it. The thing that would have brought it down is if they began the movie with a cringy swimming thing. I mean, and yeah. If they would have ended the film with her recovered from her wounds and him recovered from her wounds, winning some kind of stupid thing against that rival chick she was looking at, and it was a, oh, yay, happy ending thing, I would have gave it a four. That would have taken it down to a four. 
because that would have made me very angry. Yeah. Um, but they didn't do that. They ended with, hey, look, we're going to survive. That That's good enough. We yeah. don't know if he's actually going to survive because the infection I mean, is a thing. Yeah, he, his, his leg's broken in half and his arm's gone and she's been bit three times. Yeah, who knows <laughs> if she can ever even <laughs> They swim lost again. the dog. The dog was still there. No, the dog was still there. You got the dog? Yeah, the dog was there at the end. Oh, I didn't see. So, yeah, seven. That puts it at seven. I was really fighting between that and six, but barely a seven. Does this constitute a horror movie, though? Would you say that? If I was in that situation, I'd be extremely scared. Yeah. It didn't scare me. Was it more of a thriller than, like... Yeah. This is where we get into the territory of where you can't call thrillers as horrors and horrors as thrillers, yada, yada, yada. It's all up to interpretation is what the I say. The way I personally like to define it as a horror thing, like we're like, this is horror fest, we're playing horror movies. Mm-hmm. Is it a scary situation? Yes. Yes, it's a horror movie. It's a, in the branch of horror movie, because horror movie is several different genres mm-hmm. of, of movies. But it's, it's, it, it, it counts. It'd be... Me. A horror thriller, as opposed to it's not a slasher, it's not a monster movie, it's a creature feature. Yeah, they're usually it's, set as horror movies like a, anyway. It's, it's a wing. Yeah, just like just like left and okay. right, there, there, there's the very right v- version on this thing are the psycho horror mm-hmm. films that are really be- scary. Those are at the very right. Mm-hmm. The very left would be movies like this, where technically it's a bad situation, but it's mm-hmm. it's barely a horror movie, but it's still a horror movie. I mean, uh, there was one point in the film, and I'm I'm gonna put this in just for um, Beardman's uh, um, his what he said to me. Um, there was a scene in the film. I think it was the scene where she was trying to get. It was in a basement. I can't remember if it was when she was trying to get away from from initially getting the phone, or with her trying to at least get upstairs to the from to the main part of the house. But uh, he said that whatever particular scene it was gave him. Uh, water monster vibes and like tension and whatever and what he means by that is that uh, there's a There's a section in the game called the niche of the dark descent where you have to hop from crate to crate to crate as this invisible Like water monster is like following you and all you see is like the splashes coming after you And like in that scenario for that game like that that was probably one of his like most like traumatizing game experiences and for him to bring that up in a film like this that surprised me Mm-hmm. Honestly, uh, I'm just gonna quickly say, other than the way that the Gators behaved, I enjoyed this movie. Not that I didn't enjoy the way the Gators behaved. If they behaved differently, it probably wouldn't have been as enjoyable. But the Gators don't follow nor- normal uh, Florida alligator behavior. Like they actively run their noses into stuff. Their noses are very sensitive. Um, they are more curious, and they are like super aggressive. Could I uh, interject something? I mean, like well, yes, a theory definitely. that I, a theory that I have that you could like approve or deny. Um, so, you know how like, and I know this probably wouldn't apply to like uh, like, <laughs> like reptilians and like sea life. Um, you know how like w- like certain like bad weather or different ch- changes in the weather make affects animals like personalities and attitudes. Mm-hmm. You know how like dogs and cats kind of like start freaking out and everything. Would that affect gators at all? Like, would that be in a category? Well, I looked it up. I looked it up. They they actually like rain. They they'll get curious, like tons of other things in Florida that they get a little more curious when it's when it's wet. So they would like go into town and explore new things because when there's more water, they're like, oh look, more places to go. But, but that gators wouldn't are, make them aggressive. Yeah, it wouldn't make them aggressive. They they even even like, like with even like such an aspect as like lightning wouldn't agitate them as much because there's tons of weather in Florida all the time. You know, maybe you could say the hurricane, but the hurricane doesn't really affect them as much. It's just high winds and the water doesn't get as much affected. So they they would go to different places and they would seek out more places to explore. But another thing is, gators don't usually attack unless they are hungry. Or, or, or provoked. Which they ate plenty of food. In this yes. They, they Also, there was a ton of really big crocodiles. And depending on the kind of crocodile, certain crocodiles don't like to live with other big crocs because it's competition. So like if you go to Africa or go to the Nile, there's tons of them all over the place because they have nowhere to go. But in, in Florida and different places, they have tons of spread out. They tend to have territory and to see such big crocs really close together is really weird because normally they will fight over food, which 
you know, they, they didn't see crocs so to attack each other then sometimes. If, then, like, if it was, like, I mean, there are alligators in the film, but alligators, mm -hmm. crocodiles, they're essentially well, the same thing, yeah. the size difference, but, like, I've, I've watched Animal Planet as a kid. Mm -hmm. I know that they travel in packs, and they have, like, families and everything mm -hmm. and whatnot, and I know that eventually... There were some, a bunch of really big crocodiles. Oh, that okay. was the interesting thing. The, when I say behavior, it's they're actively like gator, see somebody through a window that you can't even see the gator. Gator like charges straight through this window to get this person that it didn't see, smell, or hear. That, okay, that scene is actually kind of funny where she was like trying to like shine the flare through the window to get the cop helicopter to notice her through the window and the gator just goes, HELLO! Yes. <laughs> I'm sorry. Gators don't usually respond to light. That's not something that triggers them. Um, there was some cool gator interactions in this movie. Like when she comes out of the grate and the gator looks down and is like, Oh look, human! Oh. Unless a gator is on the hunt. Like you'll see, you'll see videos of gators attacking wildebeest and other large creatures or attacking each other. That's because they're hungry and they're on the yeah, hunt. Gators don't go, oh look, splash! Like if there's splashes, they'll go investigate it, but they don't investigate it by going to bite. They usually are, are they don't usually like attack aggressively like that. They usually like sneak, 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 yeah. sneak. Yeah, and you can, and it's like obviously you can find videos online of gators attacking things violently, tons. but they chose to like, I'm going on a hunt. Mm -hmm. I'm waiting. They're, they're, they, they're not like, oh, let's just go explore. And so in, in, in rainy seasons, they tend to be a little more explore because they can get out of the the water it's wet they'll move around you know but at the same time there was way too much noise for them to hear a lot of the things that happened in this movie yeah and i think it um, just like i think it's just the fact that like this kind of movie just like it just kind of ignores all like the basic sciencey stuff just it just to make it a, a fun like survival creature feature i think oh, that, i think this was the that was the purpose of the film and everything and i mean i agree with a lot of stuff you say because i mean you have that I have Animal Planet from my childhood yes. and everything, but I'm just like it, the, the the gators. Fun. It's 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 the reason I don't much care for a lot of creature features. And what I mean is, if you're gonna create something, create something that's, that's different. I mean, I did like this movie. I did like this movie. It was really interesting. The, the dynamic was cool. It was kind of weird. Um, one aspect that I thought was weird was the uh, I liked. The cinematography in this, the the quality seemed to be clear. Even the CGI, the gators, like they didn't look one hundred percent real. Yeah, there but they didn't couple, look bad. There was a couple spots here and there. I didn't really like make, make note of it like I did in the last film we watched in this double mm -hmm. feet. But there was a couple points here and there where I kind of like looked and kind of like well, there was a lot of really fast. my head a little bit, and I was just like it was really uh, fast. Like, like there was the, water, and water is really hard to to CGI. And yeah, sometimes and, and the bits where they showed the mm -hmm. gators moving really fast, that's when I was just like. Okay, that kind of hurt. I mean, it's it's that's what happens. I mean, CGI is not perfect. That's why it's CGI, not real life. Definitely thriller. Definitely spooky, but not like it wouldn't be what I would consider a normal horror movie because there wasn't a lot of blood and a lot of guts and stuff. But that also made it kind of nice because then you could focus on the thriller aspect of it, and that made it a little more spooky. They had some really good jump scares in there. Oh yeah. Because like like. The tree at the very beginning was really good, and then the one gator she has around, and then another gator pops out over here, and so it was it was good stuff. Like some of it was expected, but some of it like you didn't know, and so and the 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 acting in here was pretty good. It didn't seem like the characters broke from their original character. Uh, the girl was still snarky throughout the entire thing, even at the very end. I like the which the, was kind the of the her like fighting the father the oh. father and daughter. That was actually mm -hmm. really good. That was good. That was. And they were able to, I, I liked that they were able to say that the, the two main characters made it out so they could have good dialogue, but there was no, uh, they, there was definitely a lot of uh, gator action in this. They didn't hold back on the gator action. They were like, yep, let's throw enough random people in here and get eight to make it interesting, while still keeping the main characters and the dialogue in there. And the main characters got bit quite a bit too. Uh, very interesting, and you got to see them trying to mend their wounds to survive. I'm going to give this movie... Not just as a creature feature, but as like a thriller, spook, you know, terror aspect. I feel like I would give this movie an eight. Oh, oh, oh. But before I say that, I would like to say one thing that Krieger Margin said. What was with the whole helicopters? Nobody's going to take helicopters out in the middle of this storm. The, the boat. It's like they, the worst yeah. vehicle. 
the boat made sense. And the reason the boat made sense was the guy said, I'm going to go check on him if I have time. Because e even when she was flaring it down and everything, yeah. the helicopter was kind of like, yeah. oh, shit. Yeah. And I'm like, and why? It, it was obviously... Even if it's yeah. dying down, like, the storm and the wind, was still not a yeah. good idea. The storm wasn't super bad. Like, there wasn't, like, blowing things over. You know, the car flew floated away because the water was rising. But it wasn't, like, super bad things all falling down. You know, like, there's one light pole that fell down and... And so, like, the weather was pretty mild comparison to, like, what it could have been. And so the boat didn't, like, it didn't seem to have problems with the boat. It was just get out because there's water. Mm -hmm. And so, but the helicopter shouldn't have been out in that. And that was really weird because they were out, like, looking for people when, you know, there shouldn't have been any people there. I don't so. think that the helicopter would have been able to sustain flight. No, it, it looked like it, it was even, even, it even showed, it even showed that it was kind of like, oh, I shit. know, like, I don't think that they could have. Yeah. But I think when they, tr if they try to take off there. Crash. Also, I don't think they would go out unless they had a direct call, and no. the girl was able to make some kind of a call, but, you know, they didn't say where they were or any of that, so they were just like, oh, we're just going to go out here and look. We'll be there in ten minutes. Oh. <laughs> so. It's a fair eight. It's I would recommend this, it to friends, but I wouldn't This kind of movie, re it. to me, is a one-watch one. Like, there's no value in rewatching. Mm. So it's definitely, I'd recommend this to other people, but I wouldn't watch it myself. Yeah. Okay, so jumping okay. In, jumping into mine. Um, this is, okay, normally I don't like, I don't watch too many creature feature films, I, I think. I'm like, I'm more of like the slasher kind of kid or whatnot, but the way this film like panned out and everything, it seems like the kind of film that I would watch over and over again, just because it's a movie I would pop in on like a Friday or Saturday night like, and just have fun watching it several times um the, i have i have a couple gripes a couple gripes about it um so the amount of damage that the father took uh versus the amount of damage that uh the daughter took so the father had his leg pretty much snapped in half and his arm ripped off by these gators and like he was in like a really bad condition but like at the same time like he kind of i mean i know he like stinted his like leg and everything, but he would, I still felt like he wouldn't be able to walk that great, even, even with assisted help. Um, first is the amount of damage she took, like, she had her leg knot on, she had her arm pretty much swallowed by a gator, she had her, sh her shoulder has to be torn out of, like, place after being death rolled at least eight times, like, the amount of damage she took didn't, she didn't really show that she took that much damage from these gators, she, like, she like no celled it for the most part. <laughs> that's what I, I. That's my thing about that. It's like she kind of no celled some of that. I mean, I know adrenaline and all that yada yada and whatnot and everything. But eventually, once everything settles down, it just uh, it starts kicking in. I think the most unrealistic thing on top of him surviving, the dad surviving. Yeah, the dad. He, he, um, he had a bad day. <laughs> was uh, he got his arm cut off and he punched himself. After all he's been through, not going in shock, he, he busted through the attic, seal, like through the roof. With one arm. <laughs> and then picked her up. And still had energy to pick her up. When he's been down there, who knows how long. He's bleeding so much. Right? His legs severed and pretty much, not, not like ripped off, but the bone is cracked in two. Another thing why this movie took some hits for me is I don't like storybook endings in, in some films. This is a film where I would have been happier if the dad would have died. Like, if he sacrificed himself. Mm -hmm. you th um, I thought he was going to at least several times, but it's like, oh, he's... I don't think he should have survived. I think it's like, should have been a redemption yeah. thing. Now, one thing I do really like, and it really gave me, like, deep blue sea vibes, is I really like whenever a uh, water is rising somewhere, and you can add, as like, a different element, because you're swimming in a room that you're normally walking through. So, like, the bathroom scene, that was, yeah, that was cool. really good for me. Um, kind of reminded me of the kitchen in deep blue sea whenever they're going through the mm -hmm. kitchen. So, the other thing that I had a really rough time, like, trying to figure out, which, I mean, I felt really stupid that it took me until now to actually figure this out, was, I was, I think, I think for the amount of, like, curse bombs that was dropped in this movie, you would think that I would think, oh, it's a rated R film, because they're only allowed, they're only allowed, they're only allowed, to, they're only allowed to drop a certain amount of curse words in a PG-13 film, mm -hmm. and the amount of, like, I would say um, on the, on the gore level, I would say 
for me, and I think I remember like some people actually discussing this when it first came out, was the gore level was more so on the PG-13 kind of sides. Because, yeah, like it showed the guy, dad's arm getting ripped off, and it was like blood squirting on the wall and everything, but I felt like it... I felt like it needed a tiny bit more. Like, it just... It, it felt lacking on that part of the mm -hmm. movie. Because I felt like for the amount of, like, carnage they were causing, there should have been, like, more, like, mauled mm -hmm. bodies. Was it rated blood. R? Yeah, it's a rated R movie. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. I was thinking PG-13. Yeah, yeah. That's, I thought the entire time it was PG-13, too, but it's it's rated R. It, it felt like a PG-13... The Rage it was rated R. Yeah, and that... Well, the, the, the... Like, you see the guy, the... the, the uh, I don't know, I think he's not a sheriff, but the, the, the rescuer guy who came into the house and jumped in the cellar door, he, you know, he popped up, but you didn't see blood, and when he was laying there, he was dead, and there wasn't, like, a bunch of gore, like, you didn't even show, like, I think, all oh, of his wounds and oh, stuff. Well, that, oh, so that, they didn't that, eat him. That Gators also eat people. Me. They don't just bite. Well, they, that, taste, they might have been full at that time. That also and reminds me, um, the, this is actually from that scene when he was getting attacked and killed by the gator. It was actually probably one of the cooler things that I don't know if you guys noticed, but, like, the, when the... The friend, the cop friend, is getting attacked by the gator, and it shows the camera pointing towards at the at the girl, and then the camera suddenly just <laughs> tilts. It was like his point of view of like his neck getting broken, looking at her, mm -hmm. and that, and I was just like, oh my god, that was I, I actually liked that point of view camera angle they did with that, and they even heard like the bones crunching and everything. As of April of this year, um, there is a screenplay that was in fact being written for a potential sequel. But made by the director himself, but he would not disclose any more information at the time. So, it's a it would be focused on a different story with new characters. I'd have to give this movie a like I said, it's one of the kind of movies that I would probably gun for on a weekend if I'm bored and want to watch a fun film. I would say a seven and a half. Like, it needed more gore, I think, for the film. And the other complaint I had that I'm completely zoning out on, but. The dad survived. <laughs> See, it's making bucks. Sick. Long story short, this movie is actually really good, and it's, it is a film that I usually would, uh, would uh, drop, be drawn to. I believe we have our final thoughts out of the way mm -hmm. of these two films. Um, we can all say that. Uh, I know you're gonna give me a trolley answer, but we can all say that Crawl did a lot better tonight than. Um, the rage. That's arguable. I saw more reaction out of everyone from Crawl than Rage. That's what makes the movie better, is reaction. That, no. Josh? No. You just said you saw more reaction out of Crawl, crawl than, than rage. rage. No, Rage than Crawl. <laughs> Sorry, it's already, at, it's already in the video, my friend. What, are the, films, than the what are the films for our next review? Please tell us. I don't even have to look on my phone. We will be watching... <laughs> asked that a thousand times. The <laughs> Red Christmas. A beautiful love story about family and humility. Um, and then, uh, Lamageddon. A, a great story. An action horror movie about llamas that have the power to shoot lasers out of their eyes. At least I will be sober watching Red for Christmas this time around. This has been another October Horror Fest mic check review of this year. Down. We hope you guys enjoyed... Down. These movies that we've re reviewed so far, it's been kind of a bumpy ride. My cohorts, per usual. Krieger Margin 1. Orphan and Joker. We are signing out, and always ask the questions, why not, and who with, and. Gators actually the, uh, uh, like to eat space poop. That's not a question. Do gators like to eat space poop? Do the spader and gate spaders. Spader. Do spaders like to eat gate poop? <laughs> and where are the sheep? I forgot about Bruce!